a new culture, meeting new friends in, in the new destination can all be tricky um, in those early days. And so we aim to be there for our students every step of the way. Welcome to IDP Real Talk, where we discuss real stories, real experiences, and what it's really like to be living in Australia. It is my absolute pleasure to have Tanil O'Shaughnessy with us, CEO of IDP Education. Tanil, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I am more excited that you are here. I have so many amazing questions to ask you, but my favorite one being, can you tell us about your study abroad experiences and how they've influenced your lifelong lo love of learning? I've been very fortunate to be an international student a number of times in my journey and so know firsthand those feelings of first arriving in a country, um, the overwhelming sense of learning a new culture, a new language. So for me, my first time studying overseas was during high school. I studied for six months in a, a town in central Java in Indonesia, uh, which was phenomenal. It was such a great thing to do as a teenager and it really started my passion for uh, living, working and studying overseas. Uh, I then, while I was doing my MBA, I was lucky enough to do a study tour in a number of subjects uh, throughout Asia. So I spent some time living uh, in Shanghai, which was another fantastic experience. Wow. And then lastly, um, in my postgraduate education, I, I did an executive education course in MIT, at MIT in mm -hmm. the US. So very lucky, have really got to see the world through studying and I can highly recommend it to anyone. Oh my God, I love that. I, I did hear about your experience in Shanghai and I've studied in Beijing, so we have that in common. Yes. <laughs> um, studying Mandarin, another language, was a whole different world and I feel like I would highly recommend it to students who are keen to do that, but that's amazing. I know you've had a remarkable career spanning for over 25 years now, which includes scaling online education platforms. How has the landscape of international education evolved during this time and what trends do you see uh, for the future? Look, I think the desire for students to get all of the benefits that come from a global education, exposure to global work just keeps increasing. Um, you know, it was something that few people did when when I was um, in my, my student days, but we see now more and more students are seeing the opportunity. I think what is really important and the trend that is enduring is having that trusted partner to support students throughout their journey. Uh, we know it can be a little bit daunting, a little bit overwhelming, but I think with the right partner, it is also a really exciting opportunity. So that will be an enduring trend that will exist. That is so true. And um, I can totally vouch for that because I did use IDP services when I was starting my journey in New Delhi. And, and here we are. <laughs> um, you were awarded the Women in Freight Logistics and Marine Management Scholarship for academic excellence and leadership. How has your academic background shaped your approach to education and leadership in your current role? Look, I think my I'm very fortunate to have quite a varied academic background. So I studied undergraduate degrees in law and commerce before doing an MBA after that. So I think it taught me all of the technical skills that have been a great grounding for my career. So things like approaching problem solving, uh, working with people from diverse backgrounds, uh, financial literacy uh, and strategy toolkit, for example. So the, the technical skills have been great. But even more important, it's really ignited in me this curiosity and this desire to ask questions and to pursue a path of lifelong learning. So I think for me, that's really become something that is core to who I am. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I, I think this is so incredible. You've had all these um, experiences and right from like high school till now, I feel like there's so much that is technical in that space, but also so many things that you pick up along the way, like you mentioned, you know, having that interaction with people from all over the world. How how has that experience been for you? And like, um, what's been different? Like, I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions out there. And what's been different? And what stood out for you? Well, I think what stood out for me, firstly, a couple of things. First, firstly, the best teams that I have worked with are teams that are diverse. So are teams where you have people that come from all different types of backgrounds. So uh, that 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 diversity really uh, engages and encourages. Uh, discussions, problem solving that brings lots of different perspectives so you get to better outcomes. So the very best teams I've worked with have been diverse teams. But I think what my uh, my background and my early learning around working uh, globally has been understanding the importance of creating and fostering 
collaborative, inclusive team so that diversity has a place to flourish. So I think one of the greatest lessons that I took out of international education was just how much value can come in bringing people together from different backgrounds. Absolutely. Could not agree with more there. That's absolutely so true. I feel that Australia is such a beautiful place in that sense as well. Like I I actually felt that, you know, having traveled a bit myself, but Australia does offer that to students who are coming here and, you know, they don't have to worry about being multicultural or or just having that diversity in their workspace as well. Um, That's definitely there. Um, There's another there's another scholarship that I want to mention, which is as a recipient of the Chief Executive Women Scholarship at MIT. Can you share some insights into the innovative strategies you've implemented at IDP and how these benefit international students? Yes, yeah, certainly. So the first uh, thing that I learned through my uh, MIT course was the importance of understanding the customer deeply uh, as, as the foundation for all innovation. And so what that means for IDP is I've spent my first uh, few months uh, with the business, really seeking to understand who our customers are, Mm -hmm. what are the most important problems that we can solve for our students and how can we best support them in their journeys. I think starting with that deep understanding of why we are here for students really means that you can focus your innovation on the problems that matter to do a better job for our students. And so what that has meant is when IDP talks about innovation, we talk about it from the perspective of understanding What are our students asking for from us? How can we really help them? And that has led to innovation like uh, reducing the time that a student um, has between application and offer through our fast lane process, which is designed to streamline and make make easier and and less friction um, through the application process, all the way through to providing students with access to being able to speak to peers through a peer community um, through our acquisition of the Ambassador Platform. So they're just a couple of examples, but I guess the learning for me coming out of the MIT experience is how important it is to understand what our students are asking for and how we can help them. And that forms a really great foundation for how you approach innovation in the business. Absolutely. And I love that you mentioned peer-to-peer because that is such a massive part of um, IDP here in Australia because we do have that group exclusive Facebook group for students who are coming in and interacting, you know, having questions from where do I stay or where should I go for coffee even, you know, it's it really is all about the students and I feel like we are creating that space for them here. Yeah. Um, IDP is known to use its, you know, use of AI and technology to assist international students. So how does IDP leverage AI to enhance the overall study abroad experience for its students and what role does technology um, play in shaping the future of international education? So so what I can say is first and foremost, the trusted human connection and advice is at the centre of what we do here at IDP. So we recognise that the important role we're playing for students to um, support them through all of their decision making throughout all of their journey is is a core part of what we do and we, we uh, will stay true to that. Uh, what we've done over time is thought through, are there ways that we can leverage AI and technology to help Um, continue to solve our students' problems in a a differentiated way. And so some of the things we've looked at is uh, using AI-based algorithms to help us uh, identify where students are at in their decision-making purchase um, uh, so that we can be supporting them in the best possible way. Uh, We are using AI to ensure that we're able to personalise the content that we show our students, the recommendations we give them to ensure that it is curated, personalised and right for them in terms of where they're at in their journey. And this is really just the start of what we're looking at. But I think that the the principle that we take is that the role of technology is there to enhance what we're able to do through that trusted human connection that we offer through our counsellors. Absolutely. It's so true. Um, we've had a few guests over who talk about the use of chat GPT, for instance, and, and how that can be beneficial to students and how to use it in the right way. And I love that IDP is you know, making use of AI technology to, to to make the lives of students easier, which is amazing. Uh, and I really want to hear what students have to say. So head over to our Instagram handle at IDPAUS um, and tell us what you think. Now, I want to shift the gear a little bit, but I want to ask you in your experience, how important is personalized guidance for support uh, to international students? And how does IDP ensure that students receive tailored assistance on their educational journeys? So, Personalised guidance is critical to be able to deliver the service we want to deliver at IDP. So we recognised each student is coming to us 
at a different stage in their journey with a different set of needs. And we take the time to understand where they're at to ensure that we can help them the best way possible. And so that will look like different things for different students. So some students come and the advice that they're looking for is very specific advice around you know, which destination should I consider, which course is right for me. There are some students like you touched on who are at the point in their journey where they'd really like to be able to speak to someone who is currently studying at that university or is an alumni of that university. And so we're looking at ways to personalise that so that we can put them in touch with those students. And then lastly, we know that there are students who are at the point of getting ready to embark on, on their, their study overseas journey. And that can be quite overwhelming. And so one of the aspects of personalisation we've looked at is IDP's Thrive program, which is all focused on ensuring that as a student arrives um, at the destination, that they have all that they need to be set up for success. So we can support them with those first steps. You know, we know that learning a, a new location, a new culture, meeting new friends in, in the new destination can all be tricky um, in those early days. And so we aim to be there for our students every step of the way. So I think truly offering that personalised journey, understanding where each and every student is and how we can best support them is core to what we do at IDP. Absolutely. Could not agree more with you there because every journey is so different from each other. It's, it's, an, it's amazing. You know, we're all setting to study abroad and achieve different goals, different priorities that students have, but their stories are unique and the way that they need that guidance is unique as well. And so that's beautiful. Um, I do want to ask you, what do you envision um, to, as the future of international education? And that's a big question. Um, and how does IDP play in, a role in that and, you know, to stay at the forefront of this evolving industry? What is exciting for me is that uh, as international education grows and the awareness of international education grows, there is more and more focus on student experience. Mm -hmm. And so that is something I'm deeply passionate about. What can we do to make the student experience even more exceptional? And so as I look at the future for international education, I think we'll continue to see new innovations, new ways that we can support students as they embark on this incredibly exciting, incredibly fulfilling, but sometimes a little bit daunting experience. So as you see IDP continuing to evolve, you will see us looking at how we can leverage what is our amazing human connection, I guess the, the scale of what we offer, but continuing to look for new ways that we can look at AI and technology to really support offering students the very best experience as they embark studying overseas. That's beautiful. I know we've touched on so many things. We've touched on SPAS Lane, um, IDP Thrive Program, uh, and the use of AI and how it's going to enhance student experience, which is so massive for us. Well, we're like towards the end of the episode now. And I do want to ask you, as an advocate for the importance of education, what advice do you have for international students who aspire to study abroad and pursue their dreams, especially in today's rapidly evolving landscape? Look, as, as someone who has had all the benefits of studying overseas, and I'll talk a little bit now that I'm in the, I'm in the position where I am recruiting the global leaders of tomorrow, um, the way I think about it is the experiences that you can get from an international uh, study journey, the experiences around learning how to solve problems in a global context, learning how to work with um, peers who will become friends for you over many years to come, and, and learning what it means to be able to navigate um, effectively in a complex world. There is nothing that will give you that experience in the same way that international education will. So as someone who's done it myself and as someone who is hiring the next generation of leaders, I strongly encourage those that are considering international study to uh, embark on it. It's exciting. It is something that will set you up for the rest of your life, um, but it can be complex. And so one of the really important decisions that you need to make early on in the journey is what is the help and what is the support you need along the way? And so for that, I'd encourage people to find a, a trusted partner, find someone who can help you answer those questions, who can help you work through that process. It's something IDP is very passionate about doing. And I think it makes all the difference as you're looking at such a big decision. I absolutely love that. I feel like students have so many hidden gems just to take away from this and your experience in international education and what that means for them. Um, and I love that you said that that's like that would be life changing international education. You know, studying abroad is a whole different realm, opens up a whole different world of opportunities and and they will experience that. Um, but thank you so much to Neil for being on the podcast. And I feel like this was amazing. And I'm so glad that we did this. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great fun. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.